Hello again everyone, it's Flipping Crazy. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of five pounds of jewelry that I got for ten dollars online. Um, I haven't opened it yet. I don't know what to expect. I saw a couple pictures of what what's possibly in here so um, I'm not holding out much hopes for some great stuff because it was only ten dollars. Um, I do have my assistant Teddy here. He's got to be in the middle of everything. My quality control. So um, I guess we'll get right to it. Thank you for watching everybody. Okay, let's get this open. Hope I don't damage any. Oh, okay. It's foam at the top, so we're good there. Okay, let's see what we have. Very curious. And if you have not already done so, could you guys please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and choose all so you know when I put out future videos and live streams. Okay, so we have all this foam. Oh my goodness. Well, it was packed well. Let me get the box out of here. Let me get these air pillows out of here. Alright, get that out of the way. And we'll see what we have. So this is all of it. We have this package. And of course there's quality control inspecting the packages for me. This package. And Oh, you want to look at that one some more? Okay, you can look at that one some more. And this package is pretty heavy. Alright. You ready to start inspecting these, Teddy? Get these out of the way. Put down a towel. A better light. Let's give it a shot. I like that they recycled their old envelopes. And Teddy wants to check this one out. Is that okay? Does it taste good? Alright. Let's see what we've got. Very nicely packaged. And we have bags inside of bags. Um, I think we'll just get all the... Here, you want that? You can play with that while I'm working on this. Let me get this one open. Right. Ooh, that one. And we'll let him play with those. I like it for the jewelry. And there's that big one at the end. We'll save for the end. So let's see what we have. Make some room here. Just put them back in the bag as we go through them. Uh, let's see. Where is the. Okay, this is a different necklace. No, this is part of the same necklace. Alright, yes. Alright, so this is a multi strand necklace. Very pretty. It's got a tassel at the bottom, it's got a little dangly bit at the bottom. It's got a feather motif at the bottom, and then this, Teddy, you're knocking my camera over. Then this little coin medallion here. So that's pretty. Show that to you from a distance. We have that. Alright, we'll put that over here by you. Alright, there you go. And we have this multicolored statement necklace. Yes. Well, that would look pretty. Oh, you don't like that, do you? Okay. So we have that. OK. 
Can I have it back, please? Thank you. Put that there. Oh, I should have my jeweler's eye ready here in case I need to look at something promising. Here. You want those? There you go. You can play with those. Let's move this over here. Just stay over there. Good job. This um, has this kind of an end on it. And then a C clasp here. Um, maybe for a watch. Some type of watch fob. Let me see if this is anything. That's not marked. And no, I can, and I can also tell where they tested it for silver because they tested it too. They scraped it way too hard. Let me see if I can show you guys on here. But maybe I can't. Let me find it again. Okay, it's right there. Um, now you can't say. Maybe I put it this way. Anyway, they scrape right down to the copper. It's kind of dark back here. Let me see. I'll move it back here. Let's see if I can show you that way. Usually this works. Anyway, I can't show you. Sorry, guys. I used to be able to do that. <coughs> camera is not cooperating again which is not surprising okay let's see what else we have oh stay there Better play with that this cute little necklace a little tassel on it got that kind of a closure on it. Little faux pearls. Maybe real pearls? I don't know. Very dainty. Alright, let's try to move on a little bit quicker here. Long necklace, a clasp on it. These are cute beads, wrap beads, stations on here. I kind of like these beads, on the, the ones that are on either end of it. They're really neat. All right, so let me show you that. Come on. There you go. Maybe mostly necklaces. Get this untangled. This one's very cute. And oh, I think I know a better way to do this. Let's see if we could try it that way. I'll put that there. And I can show you. Nope, I can't because somebody's not cooperating here. Alright, so this is the necklace. It's got stones, and Teddy likes this one too. It's got red stones in it. Nice. Nice piece. I don't think it's signed. You just want everything, don't you? Oh, this looks neat. Wow! That is a big stone. So let's put that up here and show you. That is a very large stone. Let me hook this on here. Okay. Here we go. Nope. Please leave it alone. And there's a very. Let me show you. 
very large. This is not easy when somebody wants to play with everything. Very large stone. I'll show you here against my hand. Pretty. Pretty if it'll stay in one piece from somebody. Okay, so let me back this up, show you again. There it is. And there's the other side. It's like a nice piece of agate. Pretty. Bless you. Get a couple of these out at one time. They seem to look tangled. Alright. We have this made by New York and Company. Try to get it centered here. If I can. There we go. Put it on up. I didn't get it centered. No. Please go over there. Please go over there. Thank you. Alright, so it's this with the geometric shapes. Nice. Still a little crooked. I still didn't get it centered right all the way. Alright. So, that's that one. Let me try to get these bagged up and out of the way. As I go through the rest of them, I'll have more room here. It's been a nice selection so far, I would say. Get these other envelopes out of here. Okay, now I have more room. Alright, next is this necklace. Very pretty multi-chain black and gold tone. Pretty. Maybe I could try just... It's got a spring clasp on it. Let me try bringing up this... Let me see if I can do it this way. No, it's too dark. Let me try this way. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to extend the legs of the iPod here to see if I could give you a better view of this. And hold that up again. Okay. So there's that necklace. I'll tilt it back so you can see it better. Okay, next one is that's pretty like the look of this one. It's got that kind of clasp, like a shepherd's hook clasp on it. It's got these pretty metal designs. Kind of tribal looking. I'm going to show it to you on here. Mm, that's not going to work. I thought it would. I'll have to come out with a better solution for this. Alright, so there's that. Very cool. It'd be nice to take these and make them into a pair of earrings. Like that. Alright, then we have this. Let me see what the name says on it. Okay, it doesn't say anything on it. This is car on the front. This is a pendant with a pretty blue rhinestone in it, and it's also a picture frame. Nice. What a cord. Then we just have this regular regular chain, long chain by itself. And then I have, this is on a cord, 
and this is a stone, some kind of stone, very pretty. Probably end up keeping this one for myself. Possibly. I like the colors in it. Nice size. Yeah, pretty different colors in there. Okay, let's see what we have here. And then maybe at the end we'll count all the pieces and see what I got, how many pieces I got. Alright, this is stone. It's either howlite. Yeah, it looks like howlite. It's all attached here. Let me see who the name is. Okay, this is made by Victoria Emerson. Let's see if I can show you guys. Victoria Emerson. There we go. Sort of. You can get the idea. Victoria Emerson. Now you could probably wear this as a necklace and you can also continuously wrap it around your wrist to make a nice multi multi-level bracelet. Sorry for that. It's turquoisey color and brown on the sides. This is a pretty bracelet. There's no markings inside. It is a clamper bracelet. It does need a itty bitty bit of cleaning. Looks like there's fingerprints on. It's got rhinestones inset around it. And it's got like a snakeskin print inside there. Pretty. It's an interesting bracelet. It's metal. <clears throat> Probably stainless steel. And it's got purple in it. I don't know I don't know if it's enamel or how they did that. But it's got purple in it in between the stainless steel braids. That's very pretty. My elbows are getting stuck on the table here. Alright, so we have that. Here's a watch and let me see if there's a name on it. No, not there. Let me look on the front. No, it's just a quartz watch. A quartz watch. A stretchy band on it. And we have your usual cheapy bangles. <clears throat> this is pretty. This is a bracelet with a O on it, I guess. It's got an interesting texture to it. Nice piece. No markings. I like the clasp. That's very cool. We have a hematite necklace with an, these fancy C clasps that I like so much. Whoops. Come on. You don't want to behave. Please cooperate. There we go. Alright, so that's the fancy C cl uh, spring clasp. This is hematite. It's nice. We have faux pearl pressed beads, and I see it's got some discoloration here, so I'm just going to chuck these or we'll put them in a repurpose lot, crafter's lot. This is nice. What is the name on this? Nothing. Or maybe it does. Let me see. Milor stainless steel Milor China. It's a nice stainless steel necklace, multi-strand. Very pretty. Oh, I like this bracelet. 
Yeah, I like this for me. This one's cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. It's very nice. I don't see any markings on this either, but it does look like and feel like stainless steel. Yeah, I think I'm going to save that one for me. I like interesting link bracelets. So I think I'll keep that one. Let me angle this down and see maybe if that'll help us. very pretty gold tone and it has pretty snowflakes snowflakes with AB stones in them very pretty let me keep turning backwards very nice there you go We have another cord necklace. This one's adjustable with a very pretty stone, pinks and grays in it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's very pretty. Looks like it may be sea sediment jasper, possibly. Very pretty. There's this suede cord necklace, two flowers with AB stones. You see the pretty colors that they throw off there. Ooh, I like this link. This is the class bonnet. It's a looks like a swan or a duck. It actually does. Let's see looks like a duck double-headed duck that's pretty cool but I do I love the links on this let me show you look at the links on this nice I should just tape that onto the camera next time I do one of these it'd be a lot easier so that might be a keeper for me also That's nice. This is glass or crystal green. It's got a pretty little, looks like quartz focal pendant bead wire wrapped. Nice and sparkly. A pair of old gray enamel clip on earrings. Whoopsie those pair of gold tone earrings I'm trying to get them untangled here you go pretty we have this knotted probably faux pearl necklace the pretty clasp with rhinestones in it. Let's see if I can show that to you. There you go. Really pretty. Oh, and they're on both sides of it. They're on both sides of the clasp. So I'll have to research this and look at the pearls a little closer to see if they're real or not. Then we have a cowrie shell necklace. Some seed beads on it. These are like miracle beads. They have that sheen to them. The purple on a barrel clasp. We have... Let me hook this together. Alright. So we have this piece which looks like it would really benefit if it had a pendant hanging from it. So it's like a suede cord with some stones on there. 
All right, let's open this last last bag here. Then I can give you, once we're done with this, I can try if we have time. i give you a count of how many pieces I got total. Great job packing. Put that there. All right, let's try to move along fast. These are like the J. Crew style. You see, this one does have a tag on it, and it is J. Crew. It is an actual J. Crew. Okay, that one's pretty. Acrylic. Then we have a similar one in red and blue. Also J. Crew. It's got the hang tag for it. So, there we go. You like statement pieces and you want to get something patriotic, there you go. Okay. This is a cool bracelet with another big spring clasp on it. I don't see a, a name anywhere. Put that on there. Very cool. We have... This has a spring clasp on it. It's cute. It's got little hearts and like a blue denim color. This is a cute bracelet, the toggle clasp. And some seed beads and other glass beads. Nice. And stretchy. Another stretchy. This is one of those magnetic, you can make it as a bracelet or a necklace if you want. It's got an interesting, they're like black and some have white pattern in them too. That's very cool. Another stretchy. This is very, very cute. I really like this one. Toggle bracelet. And it has, let's see, this is loaded. It's got a money sign on it. It's got cherries. It's got a lucky number seven. It's got playing cards on it. Mad Money Suitcase. That's cute. Roulette Wheel. A die on it. Two. Pair of dice right there. Number 21. And a to um, I forget what they're called. Token. Chip. A chip. A four leaf clover. That is very cute. Very, very cute. We have a couple basic stretchies. This is a pretty necklace, and this is made by Cookie Lee. Kind of coppery color with reds. Pretty. Another stretchy. This is a breast cancer awareness bracelet. Is that stretchy? It's a stretchy with the awareness ribbons on it and some not sure of the stone it's not cat's eye so that's cute this is a little ooh, these are tiny this is a little copper color necklace with a pineapple a little pineapple
it says on there. I uh, can't make out the name. Don't know, but it's got a spring clasp on it. Oh, this might be another fob. I think this is another fob. Yeah, watch fob. So there's the spring clasp and there's the funky little end with that little part that goes in. It's got a little design there. Yeah, another fob. Here's a barrel clasp. It's a like gunmetal color. Cute little simple Y necklace. Almost to the end. This cute necklace, no name on it. It's got just a little motif open work design. There's this necklace with a little pendant. It looks like onyx might be inlaid in there. Let me see what that says. Oh, it's Liz Claiborne. LCI. Liz Claiborne International. This looks like just a bunch of miscellaneous earrings. There's a glass pendant. These earrings, very cute, spotted earrings. A uh, pair of wing earrings. Nice. Uh, this looks like a bracelet. Let's see if there's something on that. 18 karat rolled gold plate. So it's gold plated. Um, just a couple pins and a little blue stone heart pendant. Vintage necklace. Kramer. Made by Kramer Jewelry. And it hooks on like that. Nice old piece. Glass. Beauty. Nice colors. Mm, this one's pretty. Necklace with a little pendant on it. No signature. Still pretty. Nonetheless. This looks like a, a Wade's ceramic figure of two... Oh, it is Wade. Wade England. Wade England. It's a little Wade's whimsy kind of a figure. It looks like two cats hugging. I guess I'll keep that for myself. This is cute. This is some kind of stone. Um, is a name on that. CFC. I don't know who CFC is, but I will show you. Whoops. You've got, it looks like picture Jasper on the sides. There you go. I know it's hard because I'm back from the light. Just trying to find a happy medium where it's focusing, but it's not. So there's that. Someday I'll get a real camera. Right now I just have the point and shoot little teeny tiny one that fits in your pocket to do all my stuff. And this has a name. Okay, this is Avon. Multi-strand necklace. And it's got these reddish color stone and then it's got two tones silver tone and then the braid part is gold tone it's pretty not your typical 
Avon looking jewelry and this one has a name on it okay it's probably American Eagle Outfitters let me see AEO yeah it's the Eagle on the heart and then AEO on the other side so it's a double strand this is a very pretty bead and then we have some mother of pearl more mother of pearl it's very pretty all right so let's see how many things we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three I love this twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight 29, 30, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, I'll count all these as 1, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and there's a tangle. Come on. All right, we'll have to get them untangled. Oh, wait. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, and 66. 66 pieces of jewelry. Well, 65 in the little uh, Wade's cat figurine for $10. So, I think I did pretty good. I'm happy with that nothing crazy but it's good it's good I'm very happy with what I got for the money well worth it so I hope you enjoyed going through that mystery box with me and I hope to see you in the next live live auction or next video that I load to my channel um, again please subscribe if you haven't already done so hit that notification bell and click on all we do have jewelry auctions on my channel if you're a jewelry person every Tuesday night it's dollar jewelry night we start every piece of jewelry off at a dollar that includes sterling vintage newer designer anything we start it all at a dollar um, if you could hit that thumbs up for the video I'd really appreciate it and I hope to see you guys soon thank you so much bye bye